Mukhang desidido ang FAU Tamaras na ma-improve ang kanilang fourth place finish sa UAP Seniors Basketball Tournament last season. Sa preseason pa lang, nagpakita na ng muscle ang Tamaras by winning the first ever UAAP 3x3 event. Let's talk now to their coach, Olsen Racela, and his players who won that historic title. Wendell Comboy, Mike Casino, Kenneth Tuffin, at Richard Escoto. FAU Tamaras, welcome back to the score. Good evening, guys. Good evening, and congratulations sa inyong panalo. Coach Olsen, una una, um, tell us kung paano nyo binuo itong lineup na to. I know you weren't even there, no? Yes. You left them at their own, you trusted them to be well prepared. Pero nung in-invite kayo, well, of course, si Sir Mark Molina had a big part in this. Nung sinabihan kayo na lahat sasali sa 3x3 and you're gonna put up a team, ano kagad pumasok sa isip mo in terms of uh, joining this and taking this one seriously? Well, first of all, this is the first ever um, 3x3 mm-hmm. uh, ng UAP. So, and we're the hosts this right, year. Right, exactly. So, we made it mm-hmm. a point to field a really competitive team. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, yung thought process ko naman dun sa team na to was you know, basically put up a team na um, parang same height. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so that they can uh, you know, defend the perimeter, uh, play inside, outside, and then guys who can really uh, play uh, the perimeter. Okay. Uh, dahil mabilis yung, yung 3x3. Eh. Right, right, right. Wendell, kayo, uh, bilang mga players, alam ko, uh, dagdag to. Kung baga, nagpa-practice kayo, regular practice, pero paano kayo naghanda kayong apat? Nung, nung sinabihan kayo ni Coach O na ito na yung apat na bubuo ng team, uh, ano yung mga first steps na ginawa ninyo as, as a group na paano nyo hinanda sa rin nyo, at least mentally for this tournament? Um, una sa lahat, inalam mo na namin yung game rule, syempre. Mm. Iba, di ba? Iba, oh. iba. Iba siya oh. sa 5-on-5. Five five, eh. Correct. And, syempre, matagal na rin kami magkasama, though bago pa lang si Mike. Mm-hmm. Yun, naging, nagkaroon na ng chemistry. Mm-hmm. Kahit, uh, magkasama rin naman kami sa dorm. Eh. Usap-usap. Mm-hmm. Yun, and extra work. Doon. <laughs> yun, doon. Mike, para sa'yo, bilang Team B member, now a chance to play with some team irregular. Sige, ano kalaking bagay ito para sa'yo? At paano mo, ikaw rin, paano ko personally naghanda para sa experience ito sa 3x3? Um, first of all, um, nato-challenge ako sa mga ibang schools. Mm-hmm. Tapos, um, pinagandaan namin na mag, like mag one versus one kami af- mm-hmm. after the practice. Mm-hmm. Then, ayun, nagda one versus one lang. Alright, um, Richard, uh, nabanggit ni Coach O kanina na crucial yung height ninyo, na hindi masyado malaki, kaya wala rin si Prince, na baka medyo mas mabagal for the pace. Lahat kayo kayo mag-switch. Uh, prepared ba kayo na ganun yung naging game plan ninyo na dahil sa Lineup mo ito, medyo palaban talaga kayo. Mm, para sa akin, nakita ko naman yung, ano, yung team, uh, para-paras kami nga ng height. Mm-hmm. Then, pwede naman lahat mag-switch, mm-hmm. like small to ano, big. Mm-hmm. Kaya na may advantage. Uh, yun. Alright. Uh, Ken, for you, what was the experience like? I mean, you, you played against other teams. You, 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 so as you can play big, you can play wing as well. And you had to defend against some of the bigs of the other teams. What was this whole experience like of you know, playing three on three, faster pace. You're not running up and down the court, things like that. So, what was that adjustment like for you? Um, you don't get tired as much as okay. most with a five on five game. So that was a lot different. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of like scenarios and everything was a lot different too. And mm-hmm. like what you said, like we were all the kind of the same height. Yep. So in terms of defense, we were able to switch all. We didn't really have a game plan. It kind of mm-hmm. just came as like we see what it was and mm-hmm. just kind of adapt to the situation. And that's kind of how we got through. All right. For Wendell, uh, it came to a point na uminit ka. <laughs> Medyo nag-take over ka. Uh, ano nangyari doon? Ano nangyari doon? Did you just feel it in that moment? And feel mo na kaya na may matchup na yun? Ba't natatawa si Coach O? <laughs> Matatawa ko mamaya yan. <laughs> Yung adaptation na lang uh-huh. siguro kasi ilang games na kami nun okay. na naglalaro dun sa same court, uh-huh. yun, sa- same atmosphere, and... Mm-hmm. Sa yung finals, talagang in-enjoy na lang namin, sabi, na, okay. sabi namin. So, i-enjoy na lang natin itong laban na to and oh. wag, ano, wag na lang tayo, wag na lang tayong papatalo sa hassle, mga hassle points, mga right. 50-50 balls. Oh. Yan, and, yun, nagulat na lang ako, yun na pala yung resulta. Bilang isang player na you're gifted with good one-on-one moves, gano'n ka, gano kasaya to play in a format like this na, ang ganda ng spacing, eh, di ba? Uh-huh. Uh, three on three, pero yung court, malaking court, ni tulad sa barangay sa kanto, minsan malilate yung court, di ba? Ang lawak. So, kita mo yung opportunity na makapag-breakdown ng defender. Gano kasi yung, yung opportunity niyan to play that kind of game para sa'yo? 
Siyempre, sobrang saya kasi simula bata ka pa lang, yun na yung mga nasa isip mo, yung mga moves, mga donood ka ng NBA. And pagdating sa game na yun, ah, ito na, chance ko na itong makita yung moves ko and mag, ano, maghanap lang kami ng switches, mga mismatches. So, ayun. Richard, yung crowd, natanong kita kanina before we came up here, no? Kamusta yung crowd? Ito sa weekend, so interested siguro yung crowd na makita, bihira makakita ang mga Pinoy ng 3-on-3 or 3x3 na ganitong format. Lalo na UAP teams, parang familiar, para UE, FEU. Kamusta yung para sa inyo na medyo na iba yung experience with that crowd? Ayun, uh, sobrang saya kasi first time nga yung 3-on-3 na UAP, mm. then tapos Sunday pa yun, daming tao, mm-hmm. sobrang saya. Ken, did it add pressure to win uh, and do well for FU in, uh, since you're the host school this year? Uh, what did Sir Mark say to you guys? <laughs> he actually he talked to us after the semifinal. Okay. Uh, he was there the whole day, uh-huh. uh, of course, with the host school. But um, yeah, he talked to us after the semifinal, you know, we've come this far. Uh, you know, why not try and get one more win? Yeah. So that was kind of our mindset. You know, we've had a long day, yeah. so uh, yeah, why not get one more win? And, I'm right. thankful that we did. And Mike, for you, sabi nga ni Coach O, one of the reasons kung bakit napili ka niya, to give you a chance to show your stuff, ika nga na, to get a chance to maybe make Team A. Kamo sa yung, yung, yung moment niya for you, na alam mo na kung maganda maipakita mo, baka tuloy-tuloy na talaga for next season. Kung baga, on, on the spot tryout para sa'yo. <laughs> to make it there. Ano, kamo sa'yo para sa'yo? Um, nagpasalamat ako kay Coach na binigyan niya ako ng chance mm-hmm. maglaro doon, doon sa 3 vs 3 mm-hmm. UAP. Um, yun, na sayang saya ko kasi ano, binigyan niya ako rin chance. Alright, and when you know, back to Coach Olsen, when you saw it, pinanood mo Coach, diba? Pinanood mo rin yung video ng, ng, ng game. What did you like about what these guys were able to do in terms of your system, your habits? It's just naturally there. Well, uh, this, parang it was a fit for our system, uh, dribble drive. Yep. Uh, yung spacing was perfect, yeah, oh. yung uh, one-on-one abilities nila lumabas. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we, we took advantage of uh, um, the, the system that we have. Mm-hmm. And like I said, yung, yung composition ng, ng team. We had really, uh, well, three or four athletic uh, guys who yeah. can really switch and defend the perimeter. That's one factor. And uh, um, it, it, it's just a good experience for them. All right. Bilang coach, experienced player in the national team, do you see a big potential for this format of the sport here in the Philippines and even for us internationally as, as what we've seen with uh, our 3x3 teams in Gilas and even the under-18? Well, I think so. I mean, our um, winning the tournament shows mm. that, you know, you don't need height. Right. Diba? I mean, mm. you need height, but not, not that so tall. Oh, oh, diba? You just need seven two, seven oh, three, quickness, oh. athleticism, yes, yes. and I think we, we have that. So, right. given the opportunity, I think the uh, Philippines will do well. All right, masaya, masaya. And uh, good to see you guys do well and win one and and make another statement. Iga nga, gano ka lang asang FU next season. Again, you're just, you know, konti na lang to make it to the finals last year. And we know that's an omen for great, greater things to come for FU. So, Coach O, congrats, you, you guys. Enjoy it, and we'll see if you can defend the crown next year. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, thank you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.